Alright, so today we're going to go through uh, how to determine the number of joists and headers that we need for a four frame. This is something that we need to be able to do to accurately cost out a job um, and also know what type of materials and how much materials we're going to need before we go to buy. So first off, we're going to start here with this word problem. We're going to check it. So the question says, make an accurate estimate of the number and length of joists and headers required to construct the four frame for a single story rectangular building. The joists will be 10 foot long and the rim joists will run 28 feet along each of the two walls. Use 2 by 8 lumber spaced 16 inches on center. Use the table below to determine the total number or material costs for the project. Show all your calculations in the space. So, and we'll get to the table down here. But so as we look though, what we're wanting to come up with is the total number here for our rim joist and total number for the joist. We're going to specify the size, price, and, and give a total as we determine uh, what we need here to frame out this floor. So. First off, I got to kind of understand what the question is asking me, and I see some uh, information here that I need to pick out. So the joists are going to be 10 feet long, so I'm going to note that. And the rim joists are going to run 28 feet along each of the two walls, and I'm going to use 2 by 8 lumber that's spaced at 16 inches on center. So I pulled that out. Let's kind of interpret what this means. So basically as I start to do my four frame, so we've got these rim joists here, so, and then of course as we know our floor, we're going to have a series of joists running this way that we're going to have to tie in there, and what the question really is asking us is how many of these are we going to need? So we got to figure out and calculate exactly what the material are. So first thing, as we go through here, this is 28 feet. So I've got that going from there all the way over to there. And it's telling me that my joists are going to be 10 feet long. So, so the inside here, this is the length of my joists, and that's 10 feet. So, and I'm going to have this series of joists. May as well go ahead and kind of put this on there as well. Each of these joists are going to be 16 inches OC or on center. So 16 inches on center between all of them going. So, so that's the information that I need. Now, so that was step one to kind of gather up all the information. Write that out. Gather up information was step one. I like to draw it. Some people can do this without. Uh, I like. I'm a very visual learner, so I kind of like to draw this out so I can basically put all the information from my word problem here into uh, some form that I can understand. Because you know what I'm really trying to get out is how many of these joists am I going to need along this 28 foot wall. So my second step now, step two here, is to do conversions. Now I've got a 28 foot wall and I gotta determine how many of these joists I need that are on 16 inches. Well here I'm in feet, here I'm in inches. I can't just divide uh, by either one of these. So I gotta put them all in the same unit. So in this case I'm gonna pick uh, my unit of inches and step two is going to convert feet into inches. So, and I do that with a conversion factor. So now here I'm going to do my math right here underneath step two. So I got 28 feet and I need some type of a conversion factor. Now that term conversion factor is just a, uh, another name for a fraction, conversion factor conversion factor. And if you hear that, think about fraction. So and I got to put feet and inches into that conversion into some sort of fraction. Well, I can say uh, one foot is the same as 12 inches, or I can say 12 inches is the same as one foot. 
either way. So these would be my conversion factors that I would use. Now, when I'm doing this, remember, I want whichever unit that I'm going to be taking this time, I want that unit on the bottom so that I can cancel those out. So here, going back over here, I'm at 28 feet, and I'm going to take this, multiply it by the conversion factor. Now, I got feet up here, so I want feet to be uh, in the denominator on my conversion factor. So, one foot equals 12 inches. So here my feet cancel out, and now I can see that this is just 12 inches times 28 feet. So we get our calculator out here. So 28 times 12 equals 336 inches. So I've now converted this into 336 inches. So now what do I do with that number? Well again I'm going to be joist spaced on there and we're 16 inches on center so step three here is to divide that number by 16 inches on center. So 336 divided inches divided by 16 inches is going to give me the total number that I need. 336 divided by 16 gives me 21 pieces or 21 joists that I need. So let's go ahead and head on down to our chart down here. As we go, I, here are my joists. I needed 21 and it's asking for the size. Well we go back right up here to our work problem. The size lumber that we're using, we're using 2x8s. So this is a 2x8 and again those 2x8s are 10 feet long. So 2x8 by, by 10 footers. Now down here I've been given some pricing. That's current pricing on my board. My 2x8 by, by 10 footers are going to cost me $6.68 a piece. So let me put my price right here, $6.68. So, and i got to take that times 21 to get my total that I need in there. So 21 times 6.68 is going to give me $140.28 just in those 2 by 8 by tens. All right, now I got to go back up here and I got to determine my rim joists and what do I need? Well, I got 28 feet and this would be real simple. I just need two of these if I could buy 28 footers. Unfortunately, 28 feet is a little bit too long. Uh, that would be an awful big tree for us to get 28 foot 2 by 8s out of and it's not a common size so that uh, your hardware store or your lumber yard is going to sell you 2 by 8 So I got listed down here some choices. We got uh, 2 by 8 by 8 footers, 2 by 8 by 10 footers, 2 by 8 by 12 footers, 2 by 8 by 16 footers, and 2 by 8 by 20 footers. So what I really need to do is kind of come up with some combination here that's going to give me my result. So if I'm 28 feet overall, maybe I could use a, a 20 footer and an 8 footer to give me that. Or maybe I could use a 16 foot and a 12 foot. So, well, that's what I'm going to do because I want to try to keep these uh, about the same size as I frame this out. So for my uh, rim joist here, I'm going to need two pieces of 2 by 8 by 12 footers and I'll need two pieces of 2 by 8 by 16 footers again and the reason for that 2 by 8 by 12 is as I add these up that's going to give me my 28 feet here and I need uh, a 12 footer and a 16 footer down here to give me that side and I need a 12 footer and a 16 footer up here to give me that side and that'll give me my 28 feet so so let me go ahead and write these down. So I'm going to need uh, two pieces, two by eight by twelve. So, and I'll since I got different size, I'll need two pieces, two by eight by sixteen footers. We'll go ahead and put the price that we note down here. So the twelve footers are seven dollars and sixty-seven cents each. Sixteen footers are. $10.49 each. Okay, so let's go ahead. 2 times $7.67 is $15.34. And 
two times ten dollars and forty nine cents is twenty dollars and ninety eight cents. Twenty dollars and ninety eight cents. Now to come up with the total, all I got to do is add up all of these numbers. So I got fifteen thirty four plus one hundred and forty point two eight plus twenty dollars and ninety eight cents. So the total for the materials. To frame out this floor is going to be $176.60, and that's my answer, and this was how I got it. So we got to pay attention, again, kind of going through, pull out the information from the question that is pertinent if you need to draw it up. So to make sure that you understand it, go ahead and take your time, draw it up, and lay out the information on here so you can determine how many joists you're going to need and how, what type of wood you're going to need for your rim joist so you can make these four frames and get those nailed up. So, and in this case we found out that to uh, four out of four, that is 28 feet by 10 feet, it's going to cost us $176 at 60 cents. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, excuse me, so I've got a little bit of bug going on here. So, but I hope you, uh, Watch this. Pay attention. This is what you need to know. You're going to need to be able to give me a total number of joists based on a floor plan and the dimensions that are on that floor plan. Thanks for watching.